And let me do my screen share. And what happened is now that number 22 gets stored into this variable that I made called number of years. And that's it. Like that's that's the only thing we've asked our program to do so far. And you can kind of see on screen like it's it's displaying the value of the variable number of years. Okay, there's a reason why I did this because I wanted to introduce how to use the if and the if else statements, meaning depending on what you just typed or what your user just typed into this program, you can do different things. We can use different output. You'll, you'll see what I mean here in a second. So once again, I'm going to go to control. And underneath the loops, you will see two different blocks. And I want to point this out. There's a block that just says the word if. Right. And let me actually grab one of those. I'll kind of I'll just kind of put it on the side. I've got another block, which is a little bit different. It says if, and then it has the word else. Let me grab one of those, and I'll also kind of put that off to the side here. And in doing this, I want to introduce you to, again, what's called a conditional statement. That's if this is the case, if this thing is true, then we execute some, some part of the code. If it's not true, it just kind of skips over it, and it doesn't worry about it. In doing that, I can also introduce one other concept, which was mentioned in the slides before, uh, something known as a Boolean expression. And that is just anything that we can determine that is either true or false. Okie doke. So let me um, show you how to build one of those real quick. We want to go to this little green section that says operators. Operators. And if I scroll down a little bit past the pick random block, you should see three different blocks that actually are like shaped kind of like a hexagon. They've got they've got like corners instead of being like round. This is another thing that you'll like a lot about Snap. The blocks are shaped the exact way that they fit into the other blocks. So right after the word if here, it's got that shape of like it looks kind of like a little hexagon, right? So I can grab uh, this equal sign block and take it and just drag it right here after the word if. And then we can do a comparison. Uh, let me actually attach this if. And what we're doing here is I'm showing you a few things. We, I showed you a basic loop. You're going to see a lot of those, especially in the first few labs. Um, showed you input and output, how to create a variable, how to store a number into that variable. And then now we're going to do a little bit of logic as far as like decision making. So here's what I'm going to say. I'm going to say if my, if my number, of, I'm going to say it out loud first. If my number of years is equal to zero, right? If I have no programming experience at all, I'm going to send out a little message that says uh, something like, welcome to computer science. So how do I do that? I can drag in from variables. I can drag in my number of years. Make sure it's like the circular shaped one. You can find it right near the top of variables. Oops. And then I can literally type in the number zero. I can say if number of years equals zero. And I'm just going to show you how to do like a different, he's going to say a different statement if I have no programming experience. So I'm going to go ahead and get a say block from looks. And I'm going to put it inside of this if statement the same way I had this hip hip array inside of the repeat loop where I'll say, uh, Welcome to CS, right? Welcome to computer science. I know you have zero years of experience coding. That's what I'm going to say to you. This structure, again, we call a conditional statement. So if that is true, it's going to say those words when you run your program. If it's not true, it's going to completely skip over that. And that's when I'll get more into the if else. 
but let's uh, let's test it out. So I'm going to go click on my green flag. Yeah, he does his hip hip hooray. And what's happening here is again, it's, it's executing the code top to bottom. When you have an if statement, if if this statement ends up not being true, it's just going to skip over the next command. So how many years have I been coding? I'm going to test it out, so I'm going to put zero and make sure it works. I've been coding for zero years. Enter, and it says, welcome to CS. Now, if I run the program again, I didn't make any changes, right? But if I run my code again, and I type out any number that's not zero, like 22, well, what happens? Nothing happens. And that's one thing that I wanted to get across here is you have two different types of what's called selection or conditional statements that you can make. You have one, like I just did, where if this, if this statement is true, say this. If it's not true, do nothing. Then you've got another type of if statement, which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to use that as well. Uh, if you're if you're looking at my screen and you're kind of falling behind, you're like, oh, I'm I need to find out where to build where to find these blocks. Remember, snap is color coded. So if you're like, oh, I don't know where you got the equal sign from, uh, it's the green block. So go to your green operators and look for that equal sign. All right. Speaking of this, we're actually going to use a a math thing, um, a less than or a greater than sign. So let me do this. I'm going to attach this if else. I still want the if there. OK, I still want the if. But then in addition to that, afterwards, adding on to the code, I'm going to make, I'm going to ask another question to, my computer is going to ask another question. And I'm going to use a, let's use the, the first one. Or you know what, let's use the, the last one, a uh, greater than sign. Right, you got a less than sign, then you got an equal sign, then you got a greater than sign. Okay, so what am I going to ask here? I'm going to ask, well, what if my number of years coding is greater than five? Right, I want to say, hey, that's that's uh, impressive. I want to give out a little message that says, wow, you've been coding for a long time. So let's practice doing this. In the if statement, again, I can drop in my variables over here or I can type in numbers. Um, I want to grab from variables, grab my number of years, and we'll do another test. Again, this is what's called a, a, a Boolean expression. Something we can evaluate as either true or false. Um, so let's just type in a five, right? If my number of years coding is greater than five, just do another output, let's do another looks, grab a say block, and say, uh, wow, coding champion, or something, some sort of positive message here. And let me introduce you to else. Else is basic, it's just another word for otherwise. Think of it logically like otherwise. If this is true, it's gonna execute this part of code. If it's not true or otherwise, if your uh, number of years is not greater than five, it's going to do another code segment, which I'm just gonna grab another say. Again, that's my basic output, output statement. And let me say, Keep on, keep on coding. Give like a little motivational message there. All right, run the program, or I'm going to run the program here on my screen. And let's see what happens. So we got hip, hip, hooray being repeated three times for two seconds each. Now I've got my ask command, and it's saying how many years have I been coding? Let me say, I've been coding for seven years. Hit enter. And it says, wow, coding champion. So what you should notice is it did not say welcome to CS. 
is my number of years is not zero. Totally skipped over that. Now, it did say my number of years was greater than five. Seven is greater than five. Came out to be true. So it said, wow, coding champion. And then it skipped over this other segment right here. So once again, my point in doing this is just to introduce you to some several other things that you're going to see down the line. Part of what I'm doing here is just giving you a very short overview of how all these different functions work.